she made it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful Abu Dhabi, beautiful weather. Feels good to have escaped UK weather. Going in. Thank you. I just happen to walk past an exhibition that happens to be taking place here. It's a ladies' only event. So I'm intrigued. I'm going to go in and see what I can capture. So just taking a little breather from the exhibition which is huge with lots of different stalls which go on for quite a lot of square feet there's so many people attending it in and out in and out this is the look of the dress it's beautiful and flowy perfect for this weather the job grill yummy This looks divine. What are these items? The uh, Ras Malai with the sweet condensed milk uh -huh. along with the jalebi churros with the gulab jamun uh -huh. with the biscuit. Forget the malls that we're seeing now. This is this is going back to the original heritage of what Abu Dhabi shopping was like. This is only one of many more to come. The idea behind it is really to help nurture and support what is a very active and rich, I would say, um, emerging art scene. This is a great example of how um, you can bridge the kind of unmet demand for creative spaces with space that whose you know, uses are being transformed. So just leaving the warehouse now, the guard is about to close the shop. A little special nugget of Abu Dhabi history. This is what's called the boat's graveyard. This is where the old traditional boats are resting in peace. We don't know actually who these boats even belong to, uh -huh. uh, but we do thank whoever left them here for us because they've arranged them in such a beautiful order where they are kind of just resting yeah. next to each other and really create kind of a natural, you know, kind of gathering space. We've yeah. had concerts here before, so whoever did this, thank you. So the wow moments keep on coming here in Abu Dhabi. I'm at the Louvre. I guess I'm gonna go through in here and I'm gonna come out fully covered. I've made it to one of the most highly anticipated locations here in Abu Dhabi. It's lovely and you've got Quranic recitation playing in the background, which is just exuding peace, welcoming visitors as they come along. Very happy tonight. I have been united with a fellow loved one. So much affection. Bits of toasted bread, and you can have it with either chicken or eggplant or just. Is it Syrian? Oh. Also Palestinian. Uh, okay. <laughs> I should not assign any uh, country to a particular Arabic dish when I'm talking to fellow Arabs. Yes. Don't call it Lebanese bread. It's Arabic bread. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Cheesy line, though. No, yeah, no, no. this this With looks amazing. Cheese. So, moment of truth, I am savoring this fata, which nice. is nice and cheesy. Uh, loving the layers, looks like the ideal comfort food. I'm gonna try it. Here it goes. Oh my gosh! I just died and went straight to Emirati Jannah. <laughs> Uh, or should I say Palestine? Sorry. Seven time. Sorry. Sorry, Jaman. We are in the heart of the desert here in Dubai. Um, I'm catching our breath. 
catching our breath. Well, it has been three days of overdosing on food and minimal walking, and then jump right into the deep end. These are just the horse tracks we said, but now the option. We're kindling the footsteps of what was Bedouin life. Really, total Bedouin life. Follow me, woman. Yeah, she's gonna live up to her her role as a life coach. So she's gonna pep talk me through. Oh my god! I have to say, Leila, you are coping positively better than I am. Remember, I am half from this land. <laughs> Finally reached the top here. Yeah. But, yeah. but this must be second nature for you. <laughs> How does it feel here? With all of us tourists yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As you know, when you come here, really, and you feel you are out yeah. of the everything. Yeah. And the natural is very nice. Yes, very the nice. The desert, the fresh air, everything. And I remember the past always. <laughs> the air here, super clean where there are barely any cars that we were passing so that already shows that you know the air is filtered beyond filtered I would take my shoes off because I really feel that if you do this on a daily basis it yeah. just takes away so much negativity you know those ions just balance the hell out of your body so try it important tip of the day guys my global Moroccan food garden rural area kebab kofta beef steak seafood I just headed out to the buffet to get my food. I can't actually recall how I'm going to make my way back. On a digestion break here. And I'm whirling my way around. Go back to my hotel. Um, there's some beautiful music being played um, from the corridors as I was walking, so I just happened to put my head across. So the female singer is in the women's room.